Hi everybody, Lawrence and Pearl here talking about Pirate Metrics again. Pirate Metrics is a framework for growing your business that's based on acquisition, activation, retention, referral, and revenue. That's right. Arr! Arr! In this episode, we'll be looking at the second of these, activation. Human beings have a very short attention span. In fact, some studies now show that they have less than that of a goldfish. Wait, does that mean you have the attention span of a goldfish is now a compliment? Yes, it is. And one of the issues your product faces after getting the user to install the app is that they'll just probably forget about it. Which means that the first impression you cast is critical. You want to get your user to experience what's so special about your application in as soon a time as possible. A game may want them to go through some tutorial rounds, or a social app might want them to follow some people and then check out the newsfeed, and this is called activation. Fire an event from your app to track when a user gets activated and track this stat like a hawk on Firebase Analytics. Ideally, you want to create a funnel from the first app open event to this activation event and see what percentage of users are getting activated over a period of time. Also, you can create an audience of activated users and compare key metrics against those who weren't activated to compare behavior patterns between the two. Your activated audience should show higher levels of engagement and higher revenue per user. Activation, however, involves a lot of tinkering. Your funnel is never going to show a 100% completion rate. And even if it does, it's very likely that your hypotheses for what is required to activate a user could be imperfect. So over a period of time, you want to experiment with your activation strategy, and the best way to do this is using A-B testing. Firebase provides a solution to do that. It's called Remote Config. Remote Config allows you to set key value pairs on the Firebase panel with different values being shown to users in different random percentiles if required. Running an A-B test for a small portion of your users allows you to confirm different hypotheses and ensure you're activating as many of your acquired users as possible. And what's really cool about it is that these variables are stored on your server and their values can be driven by analytics. It totally decouples your app from its configuration data, allowing you to change things without shipping new versions of the app. Remember, the key to good activation is constant tracking and continuous experimentation. Learn about other ways to improve your pirate metrics by checking out these videos. And please do subscribe to the Firebase channel. See you in the next video. This is what she's been waiting for.